What's up guys, 8bit here, and I, and I haven't recorded in a long time, so today we're going to be looking at the Pokemon that I haven't reacted to, starting off with Wiglet. Hmm, it's got some interesting abilities, Garden Eel Pokemon, why? And it's a water type, and why don't you just make another regional Diglett? But I am excited to see all the evolution as well, that will be cool, I hope. It's pro yeah, it's not going to be cool. Okay, so it says here it, resemb it resembles Diglett. Yes, we know. It has a sense of smell that can pick up scent from over 60 feet away. That's not bad, actually. Mm, I'm not keen on this Pokemon, but it looks pretty cool. Won't make it onto my team. Now we've got Grievard. I personally love this Pokemon. When I first saw it, like the little candle sticking up the ground, I thought it was going to be a regional Litwick because it's all ghosts and stuff. So it's got the ability of Hiccup, which will be really useful. I can't wait to see the evolution. It's going to be, hopefully, this great, big, shaggy dog. It's going to be cool. I get excited when I see the evolution things. So I'm really excited with the start of evolutions. But it looks underground, jumps out while it makes eerie cries. And it can see your soul if it plays with you. Okay, maybe I'm leaning a little bit away from this. No, I'm just joking. It's really cool. Got a really big tongue. Why are they having so much tongues? Gengar now this. Personally, I love Farigaraf. Really good name, and it's got two new abilities. And Giraffe just needed an evolution. It's a brilliant Pokemon. I wanted an evolution for Giraffe for so long. It was just so on my team. It's amazing. Just look at it. Its head. It did tail. Its tails. Its head. I think. Here we go. The head of its main body and the head of its tails combined. Head of its tail equipped with both offensive and defensive. That's really good for strategic battles. And it's a psychic type, so does that mean the head and the tail are combined com <laughs> combined psychically? Yeah, does that make much sense? Yeah. Fixed sturdy head from its tail provides a good defense from the head and the main body. Cool. Now, here are the abilities. Armor Tail, Frigoroth's ability Armor Tail is another new ability appearing for the first time in these titles to make Pokemon using unable to use priority moves. Oh, okay, so like no Sucker Punch. That's cool. And now we've got Kudchu. It's an ability that, hmm, let's see, when it eats a berry, it will eat it one more time at the end of the next turn. That's really cool. I mean, we should have added that on Greedon. That would have been really cool and fitting for that Pokemon. Ah, this is what we're here to see. Belly Bolt. PM7 was crazy about this. I think we found a Pokemon that's worthy of the name Lord Fardquad. Personally, I really like the reveal terrain for this. And just, I think the colour looks really cool, even it being an electric type. It's just a brilliant Pokemon in general. I'm not sure if I make onto my team. It looks defensive. So, um, we'll see. Now, this is what you saw in the thumbnail, Belly Button Dynamo. What is this? It can produce a giant amount of electricity from the, of its belly button? It's really cool with a spark coming out of the circle, though. And it doesn't, oh, yeah, it, that looks like Slowpoke. And what I mean by that is, it says it doesn't notice an opponent until it's attacked, a bit like Slowpoke. Slowpoke isn't a frog, it's like a hippo-based thing, I think. So, uh, Similar like laziness and all that. Same theme, theme, if you get what I mean. Let's see, Electromorphosis. Yeah, I think I said that right. Oh, that's actually really good. So it absorbs every move when, and it kind of charges an attack. Does it raise its attack or special attack? Our next electric type move it uses. Oh, that's going to be really good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like, like button, smash that subscribe button. Yes, this is cringe, I know. And hit the little bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. For those of you still here, comment down your favourite Paldeo Pokemon below and we'll see what's the most popular. See ya!